Hey you guys, how's it going? How you been? You look good, did you change your hair? Listen, I get it, it's weird for me too. It has been a long time since I've got to just sit down and talk to the camera like this. For those that don't know, I've taken a little bit of a break on YouTube for the last couple of months, and I wanted to hop on really quick and address that before we get into today's video. To make a long story extremely brief, nothing major bad happened or anything like that, Basically, I just got really busy. You guys know I was going to school, and then I graduated from school, and I got a job, and I had to move, and just a lot of stuff has been going on. So that's my first excuse. My second excuse is really just that if I'm being really honest, unfortunately, I sort of got uninspired and fell out of love a little bit with the aquarium hobby. You guys know that I experienced some losses. I lost my white beta to cancer. I lost my koi beta to some unknown sort of swim bladder disorder or disease. Basically, I was just questioning whether or not I really wanted to keep going with the aquarium hobby and whether or not all the emotional and physical work was worth it. Because as you guys know, it can be a very work intensive hobby at times. In all honesty, I downsized my hobby greatly. I got rid of all my fish and tanks, took everything apart, except for Manfred, my goldfish, the mascot of my channel. He is still in his tank. And I also kept one other tank up and running because I had all my live plants in it. It was just a planted 10 gallon tank. I left it because I didn't want to get rid of my plants and I thought it was nice to have just in case I decided randomly that I wanted to get another beta, which as you will see, I totally did. I couldn't stay away. What can I say? But for right now, Manfred is healthy and happy. And I think it just makes perfect sense for me to keep him and let him live out his days with me. He is a pretty old goldfish. I've had him for several years already. But I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what's been going on. Nothing really terrible, just got pretty busy. Became uninspired with the hobby, but recently got a little more inspired. Got rid of all my old fish, but I am keeping Manfred. And now I have a brand new addition to my little fish family, and I think he is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm gonna share him with you guys today. I hope that you guys enjoy seeing him, and I'll catch you guys in the outro. Well, it began like it always begins. Visiting an aquarium store just to look, and then you lock eyes with a fish across the room and you just fall in love and know that you have to have them. Uh, for me, it was this little guy. Um, he had a single black spot on his side that reminded me a lot of the spot on the side of my old white beta Moby. And I don't know, it really just warmed my heart. And needless to say, he ended up in a bag in my lap and on the way to his new home. As I mentioned, I kept this 10 gallon tank up and running for several months with just plants in it and no fish, just in case I decided randomly that I did want to get another beta. Uh, this is him just acclimating to the temperature. I guess I just know myself and I know my weaknesses. I know this may not be the prettiest tank to look at, but it's a really healthy, good environment, especially for fish to go through quarantine in, uh, because it offers a lot of hiding places and a lot of dense foliage to make them feel safe. Before this, I was thinking of getting a red dragon beta, which would have been a white-bodied fish with red fins, uh, but this beta actually resembles a yellow dragon beta, a white-bodied fish with yellow fins. I thought that was super cool, and I'd never seen one like that in person, and yeah, I don't know, I just really was excited to have found him. Uh, this is me putting him into the tank for the very first time. Uh, right after I put him in, I turned off all the lights and let him just kind of chill and decompress from the journey home and start to relax a little bit. When the lights came on, it was so cool and so much fun for me to watch him be curious and be inquisitive and really check out all of his environment. Um, his first day home, he was a little bit jumpy, as to be expected. You know, he's getting used to me and I'm getting used to him, but I think he's so beautiful. I love his yellow fins, and in just the right light, um, he almost looks gold. And that's where I got his name from. I decided to call him Dorado. Like El Dorado, the city of gold. Uh, he was hard to find, but I'm really glad that I did finally find him. And I know that having a mostly white fish on a basically white wall background is not the best looking thing right now, um, but it's going to have to be another video where I go in and really make this tank beautiful and something that really showcases Dorado in particular. For right now, I'm just so happy that I have him and I hope that you guys love him as much as I do and I can't wait for him to just get settled in and then make him a beautiful home just for him.
you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys made it to the end today, and I hope that you guys love Dorado. I absolutely love him. I've enjoyed having another beta so much. I don't think I realized how much I missed it, and missed you guys. I am excited to be getting back into this hobby and start keeping more fish and making more fish content. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to be on here regularly for a long time, but for the next couple months at least, I have a couple of videos in the works that I should be releasing pretty regularly. And yeah, I just had a great time being back today. I hope that you guys are having a great time. If you want to see more content like this, since I am finally putting out more content, then you can subscribe to my channel down below. You can like this video to let me know that you liked it, or hit the little bell so that you know when I upload next time. You can also drop me a comment and follow me over on Instagram at fun underscore fishology if that's something you want to do. And yeah, I think that's it. I will catch you guys all again next time. Bye guys! La 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 la. I hope that you guys... <laughs> what? <laughs> ba, ba, ba. I don't even remember what I usually say. I'm a back. This is closer than normal? I feel like I'm sitting really close. What? The only two tanks that I sit.